This is just a quick video to clear up some confusion really on my own part. Before you, you have a very old Corgi Moonraker space shuttle from the film of the same name featuring one James Bond 007, Roger Moore at that particular point in time. I had this when I was little. Um, I liked it a lot. It's very die cast. It's very sturdy. Um, as you can see, it has a button on the bottom of it, which will remove its landing gear and extend its landing gear. This one's landing gear mechanism is a little bit weak on the, the rear landing gear, but that was a general gist. It also has opening cargo bay doors. And if you're very lucky, when you go to the second hand toy shop, you get a satellite in the middle of it as well. And um, I was obviously lucky because the satellite is here and it's absolutely fine. Um, slightly more plasticky than its, its mothership, but um, you know it does even have extended wings like that. So this one's not in bad nick. Um, one of the wings has actually seen slightly better days. I, I now notice, but other than that, it's in you know it's a reasonable example of um, the item. Now. This, as I, I think I mentioned, this was this was Corgi, and um, as is often the way with Corgi, they very helpfully say that they manufactured it, which I think you saw there for about two seconds. Um, but you can see it says Corgi Space Shuttle. It doesn't actually have um, a year on it as such that I can see there, but I would put that um, probably sort of late 70s-ish. And I mean, it was quite a reasonable sort of space shuttle um, model. It's, you know, if you look at the at the back of it, it's got the, now, are they OCS stutters at the back? Um, the two smaller ones on either side of the, the top main engine. But, you know, it's, it's quite it's quite reasonable for, um, for its size. And notice the six on the tail fin, and I'll, I'll come back to that. Now, I had this one, and I'm going to pop it over there. I also had, and this is the one that just came in the post today, this one. Now this is terrific because I'm not going to get, even going get, to get it out of this box. I think it's rather nice inside here. But you can see that this one is, a. Um, I think it was probably classed as a Corgi Junior. And it is effectively exactly the same as the large one. But you'll notice that there isn't a sticker, there isn't a number on the tail fin. That's the, the main difference, but also the, the windows are not coloured black and there are more of them than there are on the um, the large version of the shuttle. So if you can if you if you get there you just just about focused on that for a second, you can just about make out that the um the win well you can very clearly see the windows aren't black. There we go. Um but there are also a few more of them on there. And it's got the the number on, on the wing which is num again number six um, but it doesn't have the the number on the on the tail fin there you can see they also included um, some detailing in the in the cargo bay as well in fact possibly even it's hard to say I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the satellite again um, maybe it was maybe it wasn't I'm not sure there's also this text on the on the underside you can see it's a very old box but this is quite interesting if I can, ah there we go yeah, nearly, yeah. The Matoy TM Company Limited, Northampton, UK, 1978. So, properly old. Um, made in Great Britain, though, fair dues. And obviously then um, a French version of it as well. So that's a nice little bit of detail to have, just to get some more information. But it, it is, nevertheless, described as being corgi. So, I think Matoy... I'm not quite sure. I've I've heard the name before, but not being an out now expert on the older toy companies, I'm not quite sure whether they were the owners of Corgi and Corgi was just a trading name, or you know quite what the relationship was there. But anyway, that's that's them. Now you can see they are radically different sizes. Um, you know they are a, one is a tiny fraction of the other there. So, it was with some confusion that I then came across 
an eBay auction of one of these shuttles, which was neither of these. And that stumped me because on the outer edge of the wing here, there was a sort of um, a patterning. And I, because I had obviously this larger one here, I looked at my larger one and I thought, well, that's, that's smooth. That can't be the same one. So as it turns out, what's been happening is that there have been some reissues of older Corgi models in boxes like these. So as you can see, this is a, a Moonraker. Um, and it's missing some the little data cards, wherever they, they were um, in it. But it is, as you can probably just about make out, a Moonraker space shuttle. And this is the, um, oh, and I'll just show you these. So those are the other toys in the range as well that they've re-released. So various, you know, the classic sort of little, um, is it Little Nelly? Yes, Little Nelly um, helicopter, um, the Lotus that goes underwater, all, the, all that sort of good stuff. Also, you know, the Aston Martin DB5. Um, these came out in 2003. So... Ironically, even this is 20 years old. I mean, those are probably sort of double that-ish. Um, but this is, um, well, in fact, yeah, 70, because that was 78, wasn't it? So that was 22, uh, 44 years old. So this one is, is only 19 years old. And this was, um, now they, they say the point of manufacture for this was Leicester. And I do remember reading recently that um, Corgi did relocate to Leicester at one point, I think. I think it was more the sort of trading name portion of it. So the brand relocated to Leicester. I'm not sure the manufacturing did necessarily, but the brand did. So this is the, um, and it came with this rather nice sort of Perspex display box. So that is the, the Moonraker from 2003. Now, can you see why this confused the hell out of me? Because <laughs> it isn't, not identical to any of the of the other two because on here you have the six on the tail fin so i realized that it wasn't the big one because it, it has these sort of outline on the wings but all i had to go by was a photo that was just that in isolation on on the auction so it didn't have the box on the first one i looked at and it didn't have the perspex stand so i had nothing to go by and you can see here as well that um it's closer to the, um, the it's close to the big one because it's got a slide here for its its wheels to go up and down. So again, this one's wheels are obviously much better nick because it's only twenty years old. So the wheels do exactly the same thing as the the large ones wheels did originally. And if we can get uh, get in on that, just see the corgi there. I, I think I've even looked at this closely because the box gives gives me the detail, but as is the way with Corgi, they've obviously chosen to stamp it as theirs. But I can't, probably, it's probably too reflective this one to get, um, for it to focus in on, unfortunately. The downside of this camera. But, um, I can just about read that. Um, it just says Corgi Space Shuttle, really, as, as, as the original one did. Um, but, if I, get, if I can get in close enough on the wings, you can see, can you see, ah, there, there we go. You can see the, the edge of the wings there is not smooth. And um, that's what clued me in. And there are also sort of aerolons on underneath that six sticker on the wing there. And that detailing isn't there on the big one either. And it isn't on the detailing in the, um, the original small Corgi. But interestingly, the, it's very hard to see, and I said I don't want to get get the small old corgi out of the box. But the windows look like they're scaled up windows from the little corgi, except they've been coloured in black this time. So the the windows are a dead giveaway because the windows are very different on this compared to the large corgi. So they are, were were clearly not not what they took them their modelling from. And annoyingly, on this one, um, it's got the the arrows on on there which slightly feel like like they're decals actually but the um the cargo bay doors don't open i was quite i, I was quite no, i was quite disappointed by that so on both the smaller on both the older models the cargo bay doors open and yet on the modern version they couldn't be bothered and they just molded it as a solid it's it's it's, it's metal um but they just haven't bothered hinging it 
So I was, I'd be I, knowing knowing the the earlier versions that are in front of you. I was quite surprised by that because I really thought I really rather assumed that they'd have um, produced it produced it to, to open, but apparently they they didn't want to. So, um, so yeah. So that was just so if so if you're ever looking at an auction for a Moonraker shuttle, that is how you can distinguish between the three of them because you will of course get some of the larger ones that are still being sold in, you know, in various states from 40 odd years back you will also very occasionally see you know fairly sort of battered versions of the, the little tiny corgi junior size one but this one is close enough to both to be very very confusing if it's if you don't get a decent picture of it so really what you want to understand is what year it's from you want and also if it doesn't open it's probably this 2003 model um, and if it's got a, a sticker on the tail but it looks small then it isn't going to be the Corgi Junior model either because um, that lacks the sticker on the tail so there are various um, reference points you can use to figure out what's what but because I didn't know I just thought I'd share it with you as I've, as I've now got um, examples of, of all three of them and um, you can see that you know at first glance you, you you could you could easily get confused well i certainly did because i even with the big one right in front of me but it was really i wanted to get the little one the little corgi this because literally this has just come and so is this one because i wanted i wanted to get those that i could actually demonstrate to you on the video what the difference in scale was between them because i fully expected that this little corgi was bigger because you know how you do when you had them when you're when you're little you think they were bigger but actually it's really small <laughs> compared to even this um 2003 one it's much smaller than it um but i suspect they probably took i don't know it's really hard to know what they did i mean they may just have started from scratch because i'm now just looking at the um this little sort of sticking out bit here i'm sure there's a technical term for that but that's longer and more rectangular than it is on the big moonraker and it's longer than the one on the Corgi Junior version. Um, do you know what? They haven't even bothered. I don't know. Did they bother on the little Corgi? Let me just look at this closely. Uh, oh no, in fairness, actually, no, in fairness. And again, this is what makes me think they modelled it, modeled it off the Corgi Junior version more so because... I don't know. No, it is. It is a proper mix. I was just looking. I was looking for, for any sign of the OCS thrusters. There was two tiny little suggestions of thrusters next to that top main engine, but it's not really anything significant. So it's not like they sort of properly went for it. I mean, I can, and I can appreciate why at that sort of scale. But you know, there should be there should be a little bit more there. I think to suggest that the um, the thrusters are there. But that's what they all look like. Absolutely, sort of. Oops nose on because you've got the um the got those all three there for reference so um yeah so that was it for this video really that's that was actually went a little longer than i'd intended but uh you know here to assist so um, so uh do like and subscribe um totally unrelated to these but i got a very very heavy but very very interesting parcel in the post today and um that will contribute to my starboard series of uh, videos and it was a very pleasant surprise which i think will come off rather well for um when i come to do a, a video on it so um that i will tell you about another night cheers for now